Hello everyone, welcome to IS Essentials and today in this tutorial we will be looking at how to use Git in your IS projects. Uh, Git is a very powerful source control management tool and it has been it, it is being widely used now in almost all organization and teams. To start with we, we will be using github for repository management so you, you need to create an account on github.com i already have an account and this is how the home page of uh, github looks like and the second is is using the source tree app source tree app so you can download the source tree app from source tree app.com this is a visual tool to work with repositories and get to manage the to manage your repository how to push pull create branches merge create tags and all so this is a visual tool and this you know <coughs> this basically this basically reduces our effort and simplifies this basically simplifies working with git so let's let's go to github.com create your account once you have created your account create new repository by clicking on the plus icon and new repository okay now give this repository name as as get working uh, if you are using a free account of github it will always be a public repository so be aware that whatever you are pushing to the repository is a is not any confidential information to it so once you have read in your repository name click on create repository you can create a readme file to uh, you know give any information about what about this repository is all about but for now we can ignore that let's create a repository so once you have created a repository a uh, github will give you the url of your repository so this is https url or you can have a ssh url so we'll be working with https url Okay, you can even download the GitHub desktop app also, but we will be working with source tree. So just copy this URL. Now open up your source tree. Once you have installed it, you will have an interface like this where it will you can create the local copies or I can add a new repository. So we will what we will be doing is we will be creating a new repository and it will be cloned from url we have taken a url so let's paste this url here in source url okay this will be destination path where our github repository will be saved okay once you click on clone at your end it will be asking for username password of your github so provide that since i have already configured it it doesn't ask me for that okay so once you have cloned it the github will open will open up will open up the interface for you know looking at the a different option different items that we can work on here so like there is a commit pull pull push push pull means like if you want to pull any item from the report remote repository like say uh, like if you are working in a team and your teammate has committed something then you can use pull to get those changes pushes if you have any uncommitted changes which you want to push to the repository okay then you can create branches if you can merge with different branches okay so now let's let's go to our repository
Is it working? Now let, let's create a IS project. Code. Code. Let's create a new project, single view application. We won't be looking much into anything much into iOS. I'll just show you how to commit and all the how to commit your files and how we we can create branches and merge and all other things. Okay, so I'll just give some name as it working demo okay and I'll create next I'll rst users save this project inside your github copy which you import just now imported the rep the repository which you imported okay so it was get working so I'll just create it okay so this will create our project Okay. Now, if you go to source tree, you can see automatically all these changes have come into the repository. Okay, so let's say the first thing we'll do is let's push these changes to the remote repository. Okay, uh, so let's say I'll, I'll give it as initial, I'll give it as project setup, the commit message. I'll push it to the master branch. Okay, so by default, uh, GitHub will have a branch called Origin Master. Okay, so let's commit and see in the project structure. Okay, so let's go to our GitHub page. Let's refresh this. I think now, yeah. So now you have got the Git working demo which we created and it has the Xcode project and everything okay now whenever you are working in a team uh, follow a practice that you never you know work on the master branch always create a branch of your master let's say uh, a develop branch or or you can say develop branch or a feature if you are working on any features create a feature branch or something and once you you, you have you are done with your task and you you are ready for your deployment or something merge it into your master branch okay so your master branch will always be clean okay now here uh, let, let's quickly have a look at your source tree as well so here remotes will have our re remote branches so you can see that we have our remote branches here Okay, let's discard this changes and here you will have your uncommitted changes now this will show your branches this will show your tags okay so let's discard this file now let's create a branch of your master okay so what we can do is we can check out this branch first okay so this will check out into our okay so master already exists okay so we will okay yeah sorry i missed that master branch already exists so that 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 is by default it should be there so now what we do is let's create a branch of master which will be developed by default okay so we will create a develop branch of master okay so now the circle just before the branch shows that it is the selected branch okay now once we have this branch selected what we can do is we can open our project again let's do some changes into it i'll show how to merge two branches in this case now okay so what i'll do is let's go to view controller the shift file okay and let's say 
let's type something let's say print view did load okay let's save this you know where when when you go to your files changes you can see that few files have been changed okay so let's close this okay so let's commit key let's say working on develop branch okay let's commit and we will say push it to the develop branch as well so this will push into the develop branch so if you want to check whether it has really pushed into the develop branch what we can do is we can go to our github page refresh this and now you can see that the develop branch has been created and it has been pushed you can see that master and develop here you can switch and see what changes have been done on the master or on the develop okay so this is how you can check the branches now if, if you click on this you can see that master is behind the develop branch okay so how do we merge a master and a develop branch or how do we update the master branch with the latest code so what you can do is click on the master branch so that it is selected then click on the merge once you have clicked on the merge select the branch which you want to integrate with okay so we will select the develop branch and we'll say commit if there is no conference then commit merge automatically okay so it will commit to the local copy okay so click ok and you can see it has merged it and it is saying that there is a one push that we has to do to merge with the master branch so when you click on push select that we are pushing the master branch click on ok and the changes have been pushed onto your master branch okay so if, if you can see like master when master is selected when you click in when you go inside click on working copy and your view controller you can see the print command is there in the master branch as well and you when you go to the develop branch okay, the same thing is also there in that so that both are merged now let's see another feature is you know working on two separate copies and then merging them so what i'll do is i'll create a branch called feature slash let's say feature slash let's say feature slash profile create a branch okay now this is selected now again I'll open the project okay. I'll say print view take load again I'll save this okay and if I go to if I go to here there are two just two changes to I'll push the changes of profile feature profile to the branch changes to feature slash profile okay. commit this just to show you what I missed to show in the previous example is like when we go to github okay now if I am on dollar branch okay and if I uh, go to the view controller dot swift you can see that there is only print view did load because we haven't merged the dollar branch with the 
feature branch feature profile branch so if we go to feature profile like we we have another print statement so this is one of the beauty of get that we can work on multiple branches and you know have all the branches separately working together okay, now once we have done this let's say i'll create another branch of develop that is profile let's say account user account maybe okay and let's do some changes in this as well i'll say print you did load in account okay let's save it and let's comment this changes changes feature account branch so till now what we have looked at like how to create branches how to pull push commit okay how to create different branches what mechanism to follow you know how how to follow a proper get mechanism you know creating a develop branch feature branches okay so now we, we have you know created a feature account branch as well and merged it now let, let's say what what i need to do is i need to merge fe profile features profile and account branch okay so what i'll do is i, I have a selected as account what i'll say is let's merge it with profile okay and if there are no comments then commit now see there is a merge conflict here and it says you have merge conflict in your working office that need to be resolved before continuing you can do this by selecting conflict files and using the option under resolve conflicts okay so now we, we have conflicts here so how we can resolve the conflicts while merge so it says that you have conflicts in your working copy right so let's go to a working copy i'll show you how to resolve conflicts as well get hub and then open this project now if you go to view control file you can easily see that it has promptly given like what are the merge issues are where where it could be so easily we can do what we can manually make the changes like what to do you know whether we want to remove any item if it's if it is a merge conflict or we can use both of it. so here what we can do is we can use both the changes so what we have to do is remove this head okay remove this one as well and remove this one as well and when you save it okay it, it it will resolve the merge conflict okay so now when we go here the merge conflicts have gone okay and we can for x user state if there is any merge conflict you can you know discard the the file because it's not of any much use okay because it stores the user states itself so what we can do is merge branch this with this okay i don't think so we we have any more let's commit this and see if there are any merge conflicts Yeah, so we, we have resolved the merge conflict as well right and we have pushed it to the branch as well so if, if we go to profile and account so profile will have only two because we what we have done is we have merged the account branch from profile so account will have all the three okay and then what we can do is we can then you know merge our develop branch with the account one which is the latest one there would surely be some conflicts i sure how oh, great it doesn't and we can push it on the develop branch
okay so now we have seen uh, how to resolve merge conflicts as well and then what we can do is we can create tags also so here we can give any branches tag so we can give it as this one is a release 1.0 okay and we can then do push to tag origin as well okay uh, i'm doing something first time release one no. okay i think space was a problem yeah so you can see that a tag if, if we you can see that release one tag has been created here and if i if we go here somewhere also we can see tags as well tag and release one so you can tag your copies as well okay. now the last part which we will we'll look into is stash stash is basically if you are working on a let's say you, you are developing a feature you are in progress into that and suddenly a uh, issue comes into your production which you have to work urgently and you can't discard all the changes we have done in development so what you can do is we can stash that particular copy start working on another branch and come back and unstash those changes and start working where start working on the copy where you left okay so what i'll do is let's take i'll take a develop branch okay and what i'll do is i'll open the project okay and let's say what I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll put this print statements here. Save this. I'll close this. Okay, so now I'll I'll have this change. This I'll just use this file for now. And what will I have? Those changes and you know I have to work on something else. So what I can do is here something you have some you have stash feature so what i'll do is i'll stash this i'll give a message develop branch changes okay click okay okay so these have stash your changes now what we can do is we can go to account okay and uh, you know let's open this up okay and see oh, when when you open an account branch it will have its p its state with where that account branch was last committed okay now let's say on this i'll some i do some changes okay and then i'll you know, push these changes User account. Okay, I'll come this. Okay, now once you know we have we have fixed that problem. Now when you again want to go back to develop branch and you know start working on the changes where we left, then what we can do is we have this stashes right. So what we can do is apply stash so once you have done this you are again back to the changes you were so if I go to the develop branch and see you can see that the changes which were discarded ha have come up again and what we can do is then comment those changes So I think we have come most of the part of working with Git using source tree, how you can create branches, 
how you can merge two branches how you can resolve conflicts when while merging branches then using stashing okay how to work on github where you can see your branches your changes everything hope you like this tutorial